Almighty. Give me just a moment. Uh, there we go. It's uh, somewhere around 1 a.m. for me. And that is a horrible freeze frame for him. Sorry, dude, it does you no justice. I'm watching $2,000 stimulus checks update Wednesday evening by Clearview Tax. I want to harp on just one point out of this whole video. I think it's right there. Unanimous consent. If that request is blocked, Pelosi and the Democrats, they will decide whether they want to bring the $2,000 stimulus check proposal to the House of Representatives for a full vote. McCarthy told Republicans on Wednesday that he will not support Pelosi's plan for the $2,000 stimulus check. McCarthy. Really? Ugh. Just, ugh. To the dirt wiped off the camera lens and to McCarthy. Just, ugh. I mean, if you want to piss off a few hundred million people, you go right ahead, kid. But, uh, YouTube, Google, Alphabet... Don't fucking come at me with some uh, censorship bullshit when I laugh at the fucker when he gets killed. He's fucking with people's ability to stay alive at this point. Way to commit political suicide, jackass. Good for you. Now go fuck yourself. Yeah, that that's for that jackass. Uh, for everyone else... Hope you've all been able to get guns and bullets. <laughs> You're gonna need them. Uh, for the for the cops, the police force. This is a shitstorm. We're all in this together. They're fucking with you guys just as much as they're fucking with me and people in worse situations than me. Oh, the military. Is this the America that you fight and die for? Seriously. Are these bureaucrats and politicians who use American tax dollars to pay your fucking check? Are these fuckers the one you're going to die for? Are these fucking bureaucrats and shit who are saying, no, we don't want to help the American people. We'd rather help Afghanistan and and, and give aid to gender profiling uh, nonsense bullshit and in fucking India or, or fucking Russia or fucking Egypt or some shit. Are, they, are these seriously the jackasses you want to support? Into America holistically. Why the fuck do you even vote? It's meaningless. They provide you with one or two. That's not a choice. It's a fucking ultimatum. Because they chose to give you the illusion of choosing between option one or two. I seriously doubt that he's going to be allowed to say no. It would just as soon, he would piss off everyone in Congress and the House of Representatives and everything. He would piss them off because, you know, without people paying them in taxes, they don't have a fucking job now, do they? So that one fellow saying what he's saying is just a total fucking piss take and a troll. Just like the previous bill that the Democrats or Republicans or whatever the fucking idiots drafted up. Seriously. The flaws evident in the system now have always been there. It's just that now they're so... 
Oh, what's a good word to throw here? So massively blown up from their original size that no one can ignore it. So, yeah, there. I'm just harping on one detail out of uh, Clearview Tax's entire video there. If you want to watch his video, yeah, if you want to watch his video, go watch his video. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and commentate on literally everything in the video. I haven't even gotten that far into it. It's 50 minutes long. I'll sit here and watch it all in one sitting. I got time to do that. I've got enough of continuance to do that. But this is no different from the Greek or Roman Empire. I think it was both, actually. This is no different. It's the same old story. The only real difference is that right now, Everyone has the internet, well, not everyone, but a lot of people have the internet to share information about what's going on that much faster. That's the only real difference between what's going on now and what happened thousands of years ago in ancient Greece and Rome. Then you don't have to go that far back. Uh, there's been like four other countries within the last couple of centuries within recorded history where you have all the way back to really old style uh, videotape recording uh, where was it they, they put flecks of silver in the, the film old style cinematography black and white film. You've even got examples that use modern digital media th that have documented it. Humanity holistically, you never fucking learn. Never. I've watched through nine previous extinction events of the human species over millennia. I've watched. You never fucking learn. You keep repeating the same bullshit that some asshole did in the past. Like trying to control someone else instead of yourself. Beating them into submission. Like the slaves of Egypt. Then it progressed into a psychosomatic thing where their enslavement is intangible to the physical body. Mired in bureaucracy and politics and bullshit rules, which companies have run rampant with censorship like what YouTube has done and some of you have even applauded it saying oh what was that person that stupid dumb idiot girl from uh, what was it either outside Xbox or some other um, YouTube channel where they were covering mm, current events with uh, gaming and other things. The idiot said, the Wild West days of YouTube are over. With a smile on her face. YouTube stepped in and took control of the situation. Didn't let people be themselves. Just Censored everyone. 
another form of enslavement. You never fucking learn. Trying to control everyone else never, ever works. It, it may seem to work for a time, but as everyone is clearly seeing in America and for the rest of the world, you can't control people forever. Because eventually, the truth goes into their heads and says, Hey, I'm here. This is what's going on, and that's the way things are right now, and here's the way things should be for you. And it just clicks into place. People get pissed off about it. Sooner or later, they realize that they have no freedoms. Because you've stripped it. Whether it's the slow uh, boiling a frog alive analogy. Or suddenly and instantaneously. Like a bullet to the head. People fucking realize. This isn't the way shit's supposed to be. As far as money goes, I mean, seriously, increasing and increasing and increasing the cost of living just because you want more money out of people to keep them from buying things that they'll use to set up self-sufficiency or because you're afraid they'll get a gun. There's a lot of things that I can say about that. Nobody wants to hear the truth, but here it is anyway. The world is massively overpopulated. Somewhere up a, a hundred times. That's a multiplicative, not a percent. If it's a percent, it's a thousand percent overpopulated. At minimum. The world can't sustain everything that's going on. There's not enough farmland on the planet to keep sustaining this endless virus expansion of the human species. You guys gotta exercise self-control. Otherwise, the planet will do it for you. Like, for instance, it could just get really pissed off and say, fuck it. And just turn on every volcano on the planet and burn you all alive. How the fuck are you going to stop the planet from doing that? You're not. What are you going to do, try and escape into space? Good fucking luck. You're not going to last long up there. <laughs> Solar flare hits your fucking... Uh, shit and you're gone and there's plenty of other species even in this galaxy alone that hate humanity because of the shit you've done in your past millennia ago you pissed off every species in existence basically you'll fare no better in space, then you will throw in yourself into a live volcano. But seriously, yeah, all the stuff is related, indirectly or directly. Everything sends out echoes of energy, like ripples on the surface of uh, water. Yeah, sure, you can use that 2D analogy, but realistically, it's like a bubble expanding outward until it, uh, the edge of it hits something, then it bounces back. So what happens when this guy 
in Congress is going to say no. The echoes he's going to send out is just going to piss everyone off. And because he's so close to everyone on this planet, those echoes are going to come right back to him very quickly. And to be honest, this standalone send a, a couple thousand to the citizens who need it. Yeah, this should have been done, you know, way back in fucking January, to be honest. You know, when they first started locking shit down, you got all these bullshit analysts telling you, oh, yeah, uh, we predicted this effect. And when that effect happened, it was substantially worse than they predicted. I mean, what's the point in having these data analysts tell you, this is how bad it's going to be, if you're not going to try to think and have some foresight? All these bureaucrats and politicians you voted for, America, they have no foresight. They have no imagination. They're one-dimensional beings. They're only focused on themselves. Yet mathematically, one dimension is a single point in space. A single point. There's no X, Y, or Z axis. It's just a single point. That's one dimension. They're always focused on themselves. What can I get? What's in it for me? What do I want? They don't give a fuck about you. Even right now, they, they have a perfect opportunity to say, okay, what effect is this going to have on everyone holistically across the planet? And to be honest, the only real effect that anything can have is to delay the inevitable. So go ahead and delay the inevitable. It'll give everyone a little more time to prepare. To get your souls and your spirits and your minds proper. To quit being so one-dimensional. To grow and evolve emotionally, mentally, psychologically, spiritually. And I don't mean with religion. Fuck religion. It's another form of enslavement. No. Just no on religion. In some ways, that type of improvement is one-dimensional. But it sends out echoes. Those echoes carry the condition in which your soul, your mind, your spirit exist. And that energy is felt and reflected by everyone around you. So if you're a greedy little bitch, people are going to know. Because of the echoes that you send out, that reverberate off of their spirit, their mind. They're going to feel that, and they're going to echo it right back to you. So spiritually, being one-dimensional serves a purpose where you collapse the wave function in on yourself... And you feel the own, you feel your own echoes that you send out before they go out. It's a feedback loop. Helps you analyze yourself so that you can change your thoughts, your behavior, your feelings, your focus, which determines your reality. <sighs> Is anybody going to listen to this? Is anybody going to give a fuck? <laughs> I have no fucking idea. But I'm quite sure that um, another YouTube channel, um, if he's still around, Infinite Waters, Diving Deep, a lot of information he gave, I'm still processing. He gave a lot of really good echoes. So, 
And if you want to watch uh, Clearview Tax's full video, go ahead. I'm also going to recommend you check out Infinite Waters Diving Deep if he's still around on YouTube. I hope he is. I hope he's still doing alright. I hope he's still able to put videos out. I hope he's done one that covers some of the things I've said about analyzing your own echoes before they go out. I hope he's done something like that that um, generates some good vibes for everyone. And it's not just about that. There's a whole lot more to self-analyzation. Uh, one of the things he said uh, a year or two ago was, if you live alone for a while, you begin to realize how weird you really are. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking weird, I know that. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Yeah, like or dislike, either way. Pick one, stick with it. Or change your mind later, I don't know. It's your choice. There's also links for PayPal, Patreon, whatever floats your boat. Yeah, throw some fallacy credits my way. I'll get drunk and do something stupid in a video game. Hopefully, everyone will enjoy that a lot more than me just sitting here rambling on incoherently. Alright, bye. Toodle pips.